if you want, I can breathe toward you. You just make sure you're out of the way, that's all. Toby told me about this guy, his name's like Ninja something on Instagram. He went on American Ninja Warrior, which is pretty crazy. He also does like a lot of fire stuff, like fire breathing. Apparently we're doing some photography, something new, something always good to try some new things, you know? A specific kind of photo that I want to get is like, well, obviously we want to have some fire in it, want to have some flames, some particles. Mainly I want to focus on like movement and stuff. And because it's at night time, I think that it might be a bit difficult with like the lighting and stuff and the high shutter speed because it's at night time. What is going on right now? <laughs> is Lamont you. under that? What? Help me. Dude! Ah! Are you okay? What are you doing to him? I had to get him down, put, put him down. Stop wild, being wild, your son. Imagine <laughs> being this kid's son. And now you're just eating my dark chocolate. <laughs> you have eaten it all! It's all gone! Or was it you? It was you, oh, wasn't it? Was it? <laughs> <laughs> then he turns into the exorcist and starts crawling up the walls. Oh my god! Oh, what is that? There's gonna be 10 of us tonight. 10? Ten? 10 of us on a photo shoot. Dude, you real this bridge is not that wide. It's not for 10 people, that's for sure. I actually don't know how many fire shoots we've done so far as well. I know that we've done like the newspaper one in the forest. Actually, I think that's it. Mike, if this location isn't good, I'm gonna crack it. Do you know what cracking it means? What does it mean? The cracking. It means grabbing your head, scrunching it up into a little ball, little shoving crunchy. up my up. What? If you're not happy with this spot, I'm gonna film your reaction. You're gonna try and not react. If you don't react, I owe you a feed. But if you react even a little bit, you owe me a feed. Now I'm just not gonna react. Oh, what the <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Immediately lost. <laughs> Just as I came here, I was like, oh damn, we forgot to get bottles of water to make puddles so we can do reflections, but there's already water here and puddles everywhere. It's perfect. Just let you know, just over there, that's a train station, and the fire guy is gonna be right there. Does that mean the cops are gonna come like Why well, didn't I tell anybody about this until we're actually here? I hope the fire breathing dude is okay with our cops. I hope the cops do come. It'll be funny. It'll be uh, good content. Just, like, there's a bunch of like cameras right there. Oh my, what? How many cameras are there? There's literally like five cameras. That means we're definitely not the first people to blow fire up here. That's why all the cameras are there, straight up. There's obviously a lot of security. Do you reckon we should just do it? I'm too excited to not do it. Yeah, you bring a red. We brought two, another mate. One. What? You bought another one? Oh, yeah. We can't do it right here because there's too many fucking cameras up there. <laughs> I think if we do the fire breathing shit just after that camera there, it'll work a little bit better. What about that depth? You won't be getting the lights all the way back. But there's a fucking camera looking right at us. <laughs> All right, just quietly, we've been waiting here for a good like 45 minutes and he's still not here. If he doesn't rock up and if he's just not real, I'm gonna properly crack it. If he doesn't rock up here by midnight, I'm going. This is the problem with expectations. For some reason, I'm actually thinking like he might not actually rock up. I hate relying on people, bro. It's just, it's so annoying. Yo, yo, where are you? I'm in the parking lot where you put the pin. Yes, he's not fake. He's not he's fake, real. baby. He's not here. <laughs> hey, bro, what's oh, going yeah. on? Let's Holy crap, what's yeah, going no, on here? Yeah, pretty... What is this? Ah. What? Oh, shit. That's so <laughs> sick. Does that hurt your eyes? When I put it close to the flame, um, then it gets like super bright. And it's mainly it's just when it gets dehydrated. That's when it's... That's when your eyes get dehydrated because of, of the fire, yeah. Have you seen bleach? Oh my oh, god. We got yeah. some real katanas here. Oh Are we burning on the bridge? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> if it's fire in a public place, it will get two burns, I reckon. Maybe don't bring that up there then. And we'll just we'll just do fire. Dude, there's not many people. Guarantee you I'll be able to spot that for a fucking mile away. Okay. Just, just be prepared okay. to leg it with that fucking great sword. Okay. <laughs> and that is the bus blade. Yeah. <laughs> that is heavy as I can't even lift it with one hand. Do you cut your you veggies can... with it? Yeah, I butter my toast with that one anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's dull, but like if you swing with enough force, you'll be able to cut something. Oh my god, what? <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, when I breathe? Yeah. Yeah, pretty high. Like, will it just go right through the yeah. fucking like, yeah. As the first few photos, like, yeah, we definitely want to do it without the flames first. Well, let's just try and push it, see what we got. Yeah, we'll just do as many as possible before we get kicked out, I guess. 
<laughs> How's it going, man? Hold it there. You ready? I'm so ready. I'm actually kind of nervous now, like thinking about it now, like being at this location. It looks cool and everything. Like, obviously, none of this is going to catch on fire. It's all like steel and stuff. I'm just like thinking with like the lights and stuff. The lights, dude. No, no. What I can do is breathe that way. Or if you want, I can breathe toward you. You just make sure you're out of the way. That's all. Oh my god! Crazy. Oh my god! Did you get that? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That was unreal. Holy shit, that was insane. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, oh yes. What? what? This is my favorite shoot I think I've ever done. Yeah, ever. Like we've strapped flares to skateboards. We've got G-Wagon stuck in the desert. We smashed mirrors. We smashed mirrors, yeah. What else have we done? We've done that much shit, what? I can't remember what we've done. But this by far tops off any other shit. So surprised that the cops haven't rocked up yet. Sometimes the cops rock up when we light a flare. Yeah, when we I know. fire. On to the next location. Oh my god, that is huge. We've got a car coming, car coming. No way there's a car coming. Hopefully it's not a cop. If that's a cop, Oh my god, they've what? stopped. You can come, you can come. There's just a guy here swinging some five odd mile flames. I think they want to watch it. Holy crap, they actually want to watch it. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Still watching. <laughs> it was nice to meet you, bro. Thank you Thanks so much for so yeah. tonight. You killed it, man. <laughs> I literally think that I'm gonna get PTSD from that shoot because of how good it was. You have like the contrast of the fact that it's a modern location onto Gabriel and Gabriel's wearing something that looks really traditional, like a traditional ninja sort of old school looking outfit. That contrast of modern and traditional, I think that I think that's really cool. The white things on like the outfit and stuff. He actually drew that. Like he painted this stuff on and he painted that thing on his head as well. The amount of effort that Gabriel went into like this shoot himself, so much props to him because imagine if he was just wearing like a jumper or just like a t-shirt. The fact that he's wearing his outfit is what actually makes the photos so cool. Also, he's such a good model. Like he didn't need any direction at all. Usually with like portrait photography, you have to like ask the model to like pose in a certain Certain way he knew exactly what he wanted to do like he knew all the poses so it was just so easy for us all we needed to do was just like compose the photo and just like set up and then just press the button that's all we did and then when we added like the fire into it this is when it got really hectic like we had the contrast of like the blueness in the background of the location onto like the redness and the orangeness of the fire the blueness is like a really sort of like pure modern kind of color and the redness and the orangeness that is is really kind of like an aggressive, violent, like power 
kind of cold. That's what like it says to me. What I like about these photos as well is like the fact that he knows how to like kind of swing around the swords and everything. So it creates a little bit of movement with the fire, with the high shutter speed. Like you don't get that motion blur. So you're capturing the particles nice and in focus and sharp and everything, which is really cool as well. I actually ended up taking this photo and this is probably like one of my favorite photos that I've ever taken ever. The composition is like really nice. It's pretty symmetrical, but then we have like the, the particles in this photo is absolutely ridiculous. All of these particles that are actually like coming out of his mouth, this is all like the fuel in the air, but it, it sort of looks like stars, like a whole galaxy. What I would do next time though, is I would definitely like underexpose the image a lot more because that way like the highlights would be retained because here like the highlights are really blown out. Like, yeah, you get to retain like some in like the, the top parts of the flame and everything, but like that main part where it's coming out of his mouth is completely just gone. That said, Sony does do a very good job at retaining the highlights. Like look at the top bit up here. It sort of looks like a flower of some kind. The look of fire, especially when there's a lot of it just like coming out into like one clob. I think that it looks like really cool. And then we just took like a few more portraits at the location. This one in particular, Mike ended up taking this one. This was shot on the 40 mil F 1.4. So we have that nice like shallow depth of field. But the fact that like he put like the fire so close to the lens and like his other arm is like back like this, it creates that depth. It makes him look super sharp on the face. And then we went to this second location and he was like swinging around his swords and everything. I think that next time we would use a different lens because the 14 mil is a little bit too far away in my opinion. It has a little bit too much of a warp on it. I would probably use like an 105 mil or something and go way back so we have that nice compression. On the roof, like we have this like growth or something up in the roof. I actually have no idea what it is. Unless if someone else has come here and breathed fire and then just like burnt the roof. I don't know what it is, but the fact that he's like placed there and he's like breathing out the fire, it sort of looks like the fire has burnt the roof in a way. And then the final photo, the amount of movement in this photo is just redonkulous. We've got like the contrast of the orange flame at the top, but then onto like the white and sort of bluish flames that are coming down. It's like sort of like a trail. And we also have like all the fuel particles just like captured nice and in focus in the air with that high shutter speed, as well as the contrast of the blue lights in the location as well. So there's just a whole bunch of stuff that's just going on in this photo. I think that what made that shoot so good is not just like the fact of that he like bought like all of that stuff and he looks so dope and like all the fire and everything like that was all hectic. It's surrounding yourself with the people like those boys, all of those guys there, they were all driven. They were all super excited to create and like when you can like be excited yourself and then be around other people that are excited as well to create and just like all oh, just doing whatever it really lifts you up and you get on this sort of high and i would definitely rate that a 10 out of 10 the very first 10 out of 10 photo shoot on this channel all right question of the day can you please take a picture of your pets for your vlog because i'd love to see that keep up the good works dude i actually thought about doing like a pet photography sort of thing a few months ago but the thing is like dell and astro dell's my dog and astro's my cat they live down in Warrigal, like an hour away from here. I'm in Melbourne at the moment. So when they come up here, then I'll do like a pet photography thing because it would be dope. Like, have you seen Astro's eyes? Astro's eyes are just like the most crazy looking things ever. So I think that we'll be able to make some like, make some cool photos. Anyway, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. It's up to you. You know what to do. This is awesome hanging out with you again and I'll catch you next time. Oh,